Well, another sycamore branch. This time, I don't think it's going to be a flower, a bud pot. So, I don't know. It's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. But, I'm going to give it a shot. So, let's see what gives. This may not make it onto the onto film. Okay, I'm coming at it from this side with the gouge, just the bowl gouge. Let's see what gives. I think you're upside down and everything and my helmet's going to be hitting the camera, I think. Okay, here we go. In case you're wondering, this is not a spindle, it's a bowl. Uh, the grain is running perpendicular to the axis of the lathe. So it's just ordinary bowl cutting. It's already a better edge than that scraper, tear out wise. There's tear out, but I'm not really worried about it yet. In case you're wondering, the camera is about, I don't know, six inches, whatever that is, 400, 120 millimeters, 12 centimeters away from the, right here. It's, it's as wide an angle as I can get. It's zoomed in as, uh, out as much as possible. You're getting a really good shot of it, I think. Eh, 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 eh. There's 90 degrees, that's straight up and down the flutes. And there it's where it's cutting. I'm not even paying attention to the bevel, just sort of edging through it. You realize if it goes flying, it's going to kill my camera. Me, eh, it'll bust my arm, but it'll kill the camera. That's a thousand RPM. <clears throat> you realize I'm not watching here, I'm watching the top, the far side. It's a lot easier to know where you're cutting. Okay, not bad. Okay, another crazy camera angle. Cut a few minutes here and see where this takes us. <clears throat> That's a two inch mortise, which is about right for that little chuck. sure I can get a, a smoother surface. It's not so bad. It, it's cut really nice smooth, but the actual flare, eh, this, this edge is lower than in here. Okay. should probably sand it now. Oh, boo-boo. Come to say hello? Okay, we will pay attention to you. Come here. Okay, getting nervous. Got some sharp edges. Got some sanding to do, a little profiling with the 80 grit chisel. Uh, not really, but it's not as smooth transition there as I'd like. Well, anyway, it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to flip this and put this into the chuck. 
and deal with it there. Not worried about it flying out of there. Don't need the tailstock. Three quarters, seven eighths of an inch. Yep. <clears throat> three, twelve, thirteen sixteenths left. Just going to leave it the way it is. <clears throat> I am done cutting. I am not happy, but I know I can't get much better in there. Uh, maybe I could use a scraper. Because that's what a scraper can do. So, where's my scraper? Okay, that felt really good. That scraper. But that's what I'm going to do. Start sanding. So, see you later. Ooh, there's mitosis in there. Thin coat of shellac. My huge. Okay, that's it for now. My U-joint yoke is shellacked up one two little coats of thin and knocked back with 320 grit so it's pretty smooth and I'm getting ready to put on the top coats uh, looks like it's gonna be what is that cookies and cream yogurt no I didn't think so. It's coffee and cream. Coffee and cream. Actually, it's this. Minwax antique oil finish with 10 drops of this. This is amber. Let's see. If, yeah, there you get. Looks pretty, pretty bright there. So we will see. Okay, this is going to be the last coat. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number seven. So I've got one swatch left. So it's going to be number eight. Okay. Hey, did you catch that? I guess I did. And then it'll be ready for the money shot. 
What do you think of that, folks? This might end up being the money shop. Just a tiny little log.